suppose I am interested in knowing about I, I have a random variable x, I have defined expectation of a random variable x. Now, suppose I am interested in knowing about expectation of say x square or expectation of 3x or expectation of 3x square. So, I am expect in other words we are interested in knowing about expectation of a function of x. So, if I have x which is a random variable which I again takes for now I am assume it takes finite number of values then g of x is going to take g of x1, g of x2 with values g of xn. The probabilities would remain the same. So, I have probability x equal to xi is probability x equal to x1, probability x equal to x2 up to probability x equal to xn. I know expectation of x is going to be x1 probability x equal to x1 plus x2 probability x equal to x2 plus xn probability x equal to xn. I can define expectation of g of x to be g of x1 into probability of x equal to x1 plus g of x2 because it takes value g of x1 with probability x equal to x1. It takes the value g of x2 with probability x equal to x2. It takes the value g of xn with probability x equal to xn and that is what is summarized here as expected value of g of x is summation over all values of x g of xi into probability x equal to xi. As a natural corollary for it, if g of x, so if suppose I have now g of x is a constant times x. Suppose g of x suppose g of x is just a constant times x ok g of x is a constant time x then I know that again let x take the value x1 x2 xn g of x is going to be a x1 a x2 a xn expect expectation of g of x is going to be a x1 into probability x equal to x1 plus a x2 into probability x equal to x2 plus so forth a xn into probability x equal to xn. I can remove a outside. I get x1 probability x equal to x1 plus x2 probability x equal to x2 so forth plus xn probability x equal to x. So, we can recognize this term inside the bracket is expectation of x. So, I have, so we can recognize that this value inside is expectation of x. Hence, I know, I can write that expectation of a constant times x is nothing but a times expectation of x. a is a constant. So, similarly, let us look at the case where g of x is equal to a x plus b where a and b are constants. So, again let us look at that case where I have both a and b are constants. So, what do I have? I have my x. So, I have my x which is taking the value x 1, x 2, x n my g of x now is going to be a x 1 plus b, a x 2 plus b up to a x n plus b with the same probabilities. This is probability x equal to x 1, this is going to be probability x equal to x 2, this is going to be probability x equal to x n. So, my expected g of x is going to be a x 1 plus b into your probability x equal to x 1 plus a x 2 plus b into your probability x equal to x 2 plus a x n plus b into probability x equal to x n. Now, we can see that this is nothing but I can write this as a into x 1 probability x equal to x 1 
plus x 2 probability x equal to x 2 plus x n probability x equal to x n the first portion and the second I can write it as b into probability x equal to x 1 plus probability x equal to x 2 plus probability x equal to x n. Now, the first portion that is this is nothing but expectation of x. Now, since I have the second portion, this is going to be a probability mass function. So, this adds up to 1. Hence, I can check and verify that expectation of a x plus b, where both a and b are constant is the same as a expectation of x plus b. And this arises as a general corollary to expectation of g of x is the same as summation g of x i into probability x equal to x i. So, now let us look at a simple example where x is a discrete random variable with the following distribution. Again, is this a probability mass function? x takes the value minus 1, 0 and 1. Yes, this is a probability mass function because 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 equals to 1. So, it is a probability mass function. I have each probability greater or equal to 0. Now, let us define g of x. So, let y be another random variable which is equal to g of x which is equal to x square. So, again x takes the value minus 1, 0, 1. g of x takes the value x square which is going to be 1, 0, 1 with probability 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. This is probability x equal to x i the same probability. So, my expected value of g of x which is my expectation of y is going to be 1 into 0.2 plus 0 into 0.5 plus 1 into 0.3 which is equal to 0.5. So, I have expectation of g of x is 0.5. Now, when you notice g of x, I can also write this as y which is g of x takes two values and those values are 0 and 1. Now, what is the probability with which y takes the value 0? The probability with which y takes the value 0 is 0.5. And the probability with which y takes the value 1 is 0.2 plus 0.3 which is again a 0.5. Hence, if I look at from the first definition expectation of y, it is going to be 0 into 0.5 plus 1 into 0.5 which is equal to 0.5. This matches with what we got earlier. Hence, given a random variable, I can find out what is the expectation of the function of a random variable. A very common mistake people do is to think expectation of x square is the same as expectation of x whole square. What we are seeing just now is expectation of x square was 0.5. What is expectation of x? Expectation of x is minus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 which is a 0 0.1. So, the x square of the expectation is 0 0.01. So, expectation of x square is not equal to expectation of x whole square and this you should be very careful about understanding this that expectation of square of a random variable is not the same as square of expectation. So, expectation of square is not same as square of expectation. The next example where we go for an application of what we have learnt is the following application. So, Sanjay and Anita work for the same company. Anita's Diwali bonus is a random variable whose expected 
expected value is 15,000. So, let x be the random variable which represents Anita's bonus. What is given to me is expectation of x is 15,000 rupees. So, that is what is given to us. Now, the next thing that is given to us is Sanjay's bonus is equal to 90 percent of Anita's bonus. So, let y be Sanjay's bonus, x is Anita's bonus, y is Sanjay's bonus. What is given to us y is 0.9 times x. I know what is expected x. This is given to be 15,000 rupees. So, the question is what is expected? value of Sanjay's bonus that is expectation of y. From our earlier result, I know that if y is 0.9 x, then expected value of y is 0.9 times expected value of x, which is 0.9 times 15,000 rupees, which is 13,500 rupees. So, I can see that Sanjay's bonus expected value of Sanjay's bonus is 13,500. Suppose Sanjay's bonus is set to be equal to 1000 rupees more than that of Anita's bonus, then find the expected bonus. So, in this case I have y is x plus 1000. So, expectation of y is going to be expected value of x plus 1000. I already know expected x is 15,000, I add 1,000, hence the expected value of Sanjay's bonus is going to be 16,000 rupees. So, you can see how we have just applied the expectation property of expected value of a x plus b equal to a into expectation of x plus b. In this case, my a was 0.9 and b was 0. In this case, a was 0 and b was 1000. So, just you need to identify what are your constants to apply this property. Now, let us look at what can I tell about expected of a sum of random variables. If I am given two random variables with and I know their relative or respective expectations, then expectation of x plus y that is expectation of sum is sum of expectations. We are not proving these, but let us look at example. Again, roll a dice. If I am rolling a dice and I say, okay, I roll one dice, I roll another dice, the sample space in both these experiments are going to remain the same because I am just rolling a dice. So, if x is denoting the outcome here, we have already seen expectation of x in this case is going to be, I have already seen this expectation was 7 by 2 which is 3 by 5. Again, if y is representing the outcome in rolling the second dice, I also know expectation of y is again 7 by 2. So, if x and y are outcomes of rolling die separately, I know expectation of x is equal to the expectation of y which is equal to 7 by 2. Now, what is x? x is the outcome of the first dice, y is the outcome of the second die. So, x plus y would denote the outcome or sum of outcomes of both the dice sum of outcomes of both the dice is equivalent to, so rolling a die twice. So, you can see that expectation of x plus y from my formula is expectation of x plus expectation of y which is 7 by 2 plus 7 by 2 which is equal to 7 and this matches with 
our x plus y which was same as the expectation or sum of outcomes of rolling a dice. I can extend this property. What is the property? Expectation of sum is sum of expectation to more than two variables. In other words, if I have x1, x2, xk discrete random variables, then the expectation of the sum which is equal to x1 plus x2 plus xk is equal to expectation of x1 plus expectation of x2 up to expectation of xk. When k equal to 2, it, it would reduce to what we have discussed earlier. So, now let us look at the experiment of tossing a coin 3 times. We already know that if x is the number of heads, then we have seen that expectation of x is 3 by 2. This is what we have seen already. Now, let us look at this experiment. I define, I toss a coin once, I toss a coin second or toss one coin, toss two coin, toss third coin. Let x1 be the random variable which takes the value 0 for a tail and 1 for a head with probability equal likely half and half. I know expectation of x1 is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, let x2 be the random variable again takes the value tail and head with the same probabilities. Expectation of x2 is again a half. x3 again takes the value 0 and 1 with probability 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Expectation of x3 is again equal to half. Now, x1 plus x2 plus x3 will is the same as number, total number of heads in 3 tosses or the 3 coins which is same as number of heads when I toss a coin 3 times. I can verify that expectation of x, x1 plus x2 plus x3 is expectation of x1 plus expectation of x2 plus expectation of x3 which is half plus half plus half which is 3 by 2. And this matches with what we already obtained for the expectation of number of heads when you toss a coin thrice, okay, which is 3 by 2. So, in summary, what we have introduced so far and what you should be knowing now is the notion of the expected value as a long run average. A word of caution is do not interpret it to be that that is the value the random variable will take. For example, we saw that x cannot take a value 3.5 when you roll a dice once, but rather it is the average of the outcomes. The formula to compute an expectation of a random variable which is summation over all values of x, x into probability x equal to x expectation of a function of a random variable which is summation over values of x g of x into probability mass in function and expectation of the sum which is the same as sum of expectations and we looked at how to apply these concepts. So, the next thing which we are going to look at is what we mean by variance of a random variable. We are going to focus on the variance of a discrete random variable.